Hello. Today's video, I want to talk about my DMA card and um, what I think is a, an actual uh, fix for it. Uh, many people that have emailed me over the last few months about this, I always tell them it's kind of experimental, it's not working correctly. And what the problem I've been having is like it, it's like finicky. It's like the uh, sometimes it'll work with an 8088, sometimes it'll work with a V20, and then the next one won't. It gets all kind of weird on me. Well, I've been trying to think of what possible solutions there could be, or possible problems even. And on the design here, the uh, click pin that comes from the ISA bus, uh, it's 4.77 megahertz. This is a 5 megahertz, so it can handle that. This, But I came up and I went through the LSO4 here, to invert it, um, when I looked in the 5150's data manual, the it looked like the click had been inverted for that one as well. So that's why I went with that. Um, and through some trials, it worked, so I, I didn't really change it. But today, what I've done, if you can see, the first two pins are the inverting pins for the click. So if you have one of these, this is also what you can do to possibly fix it. This is working very well now. So I pulled them out. I've just set them over to the side. We'll see that in the camera. I set them over to the side there. And then on the back, I connected a uh, 27 ohm resistor between pin one and two so that that just bridges the click from the ISA bus and it just goes directly into the chip uh, through the 27 ohm resistor. Now, I'm willing to bet you don't need the 27 ohm resistor. I just added it. They seem to kind of help eliminate like noise on the line. There's already a 27 ohm resistor on the main board over here that uh, comes off the clock. So there's, it may be repetitive, but so anyway, so if you want to fix yours or if you have one, if you're having issues with it, I would go ahead and try that. I would pull the pin one and two out and then just bridge the pins or put a, a resistor on there. So. I'm going to demo this booting. I have had no issues with this since I've done that. So right now my setup I've got over here. I'm going to I'm going to demo this with every processor that I have that that be in the 8088 and the uh V20 and the V40. So I'm going to plug it all in here. Now on top of this, I've loaded up my board cuz I want to put this thing kind of on a stress test. I've loaded up my board with a uh, mouse, which, I mean, the mouse is already on my floppy card, but I've also put on the uh, network card as well. So I just put in my 8088. Let's uh, come over here so you can watch it boot. You can see it's got a whole list of all the devices. Now, booting from a floppy drive is very slow. Now, one thing I should mention, I have not tried today a 360 kilobyte floppy disk yet, but these are all formatted in 720. Now, when you format them in 720, you can't do it from here. So far, it just gives me an error if I put in the file size of 720. So you, you have to do it on another PC, but 720, you make a disk, and then you... I actually made... I made this boot disk with my PC, so that's how well it's working. I didn't have to use another PC to make the boot disk. But like I said, the formatting, I had to do at another PC for the 720 kilobyte formatting. And then from what other people have told me, it seems like anything bigger than the 720 doesn't work. So anyway, it booted up just fine. The P is there because the keyboard that I have in my uh, auto exec, that it initialized it twice but you can see the mouse initialized and let's just uh let's just go run to edit real quick oh we don't have our pass set so let's go to c colon and we'll run at it from here i just want to show that the mouse works i mean it booted from a disk with the mouse driver and then i'm going to start the network and show that the network is working so you can see the mouse works in edit just fine let's just exit here
Now, it is a bit slower with the disc because where it booted from the floppy, you just read the disc there to, uh, you know, just part of the loading the kernel or command.com, that is. So I just started the network and it connected. So that's the whole PC running in 8088 with a floppy drive booting from the floppy drive with a mouse and network connected. So let's, uh, Let's turn this one off. I'm going to take out the 8088. And I'm going to plug in my V20. This one's my 10 megahertz. So this is, uh, for clock speed, it's the fastest one I have. But um, actually, because of the weight cycles, I think the V20 at 8 megahertz runs faster. So you can see it is faster than the 8088 because the V20 core that's in the V40 runs just naturally faster. It's just read them from the disk. Now in the past I was only ever able to boot free DOS and that's why I'm booting MS DOS is because it seemed to be the one that was more difficult to boot. Okay, let's go to C drive and we'll start the network just to show it's working. And then let's go to, let's just do edit. I should probably just put in my boot disk. I should put a few DOS utilities so I don't have to type over to the directory. So the mouse works, you can see. So that's your V40 booting it up. And now we're going to do the V20. Now I had to change out the BIOS for the V20. It doesn't, uh, that Resetting the CH376 doesn't work too well with the current BIOS on the V20, so this is an older version. So it's reading the drive just fine. And this seems to be pretty durable. If you look over here at my PC, it's just a mess of wires, and it's hanging in there. You know, no static issues so far. There you go. That's the V20 booting up with the uh, from the A drive. So let's uh, let's just verify the network and let's go to and we'll show the mouse works. Now. This is my most recent main board that has the working speaker, but that should not make any difference on um, on the older ones that had the before the speaker was 100% fixed. So you can see the mouse works just fine. So anyway, I'll uh, lay it out here on the table. So V40, V20. 8088 that I swapped out and your DMA card. So I'll uh, I'll get a couple of these made uh, with the correction and then like I say just to review if you want to fix the one you have I would suggest pulling those pins out to the side and then bridging pin one and two there on the card. So anyway if you have any comments or questions uh email me or leave them in the comment section. Uh, thanks for checking out my video today.